so as you can see this table is strewn strewn with technology and we are in the process of putting all of these separate pieces back together so what I have just finished doing is putting the system board also known as the motherboard back into its spot and it was kind of tricky because in order to do that I had to connect this cable, make sure this cable was on the right side, these two line up, there's a piece here that lines up, that was actually how I figured it out. This CMOS battle, CMOS <laughs> battery cable has to stay connected the whole time and there's another, the LAN cable has to be accessible from this panel. So that's the story there. Oh, is that the one that belongs there? Hmm. Well, wow, that's funny. Um, yeah. So I remember that this thing goes here. This uh, black LAN cable plugs in from the back here. And then that panel is done. That's all we did to that panel. <sighs> so, we're going to try to put this thing back together. See if we can get it to work. I don't see why we can't. That's the, that's the idea. That's the spirit. Oh boy. Alright, now, this is about as tight as a straight jacket, so I need to fix it. Then. Yeah, you should fix that. Oh. No, my hand's not suffocating. Or my wrist, rather. Um. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so oh, PC jack. You, you, oh, oh you, yeah. Alright. So Ooh, we boy. have to tell, uh, Hesius? Yes. Oh, we tell Hesius to be quiet. Yeah, you entered F4. Oh, we have to put the front panel back. Oh, crap. Oops, what happened here? What? What happened what here? Happened I don't think... I think we need to fix that, don't we? Um... It's loose, look. What's loose? That. What is that? Yes. That's okay. We well, yeah, we didn't actually move that. Well, yeah, but it's, it's really loose. That must mean we moved something. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me either, so you're right. It must have been. Alright. I don't know if this is exactly lined up yet. Shoot. Let me borrow that. How are, the, how are these USB ports looking? Uh, fine. We didn't need them. Let me borrow this. I have to wrestle with the system support again because I'm kind of concerned. Um... So yeah. to get the systems board out, we took out several screws. Yeah, if the... so we have all these screws here. Some of them all look the same. Um, well, that probably means that if you put them in different places, it shouldn't matter. Which is that screw that was stripped until I left it out. Yeah, we don't need to put any strip screws back in this thing, do we? No, we're not going to. I just need to see if this, if I can get it to line up with the channel for the screw. Right now, this corner is not screwing back in place the way it's supposed to. Oh, that's not good. No. So that's why I'm borrowing this back and uh, trying to move it around. Because this is back where it's supposed to be. And that, these actually, okay, so this is weird. This part is exactly where it's supposed to be, but this part is not. Huh. I'm not really sure how that happened. That's odd. Yeah, it is. Maybe we moved something. Mm -hmm. There we go. I think that... What happened? Um, there's plastic here. Ah. It was in the way. I just bumped it to the side of the plastic there. Oh. And uh, now I'm going to put a screw in. This is actually... This, this corner where the screw that we had was stripped. I'm going to put another screw in. This was the last screw to come out. Trust me, I remember. Now, how do we make sure we don't strip this one on its way in? That's part of what I'm wondering because it's really kind of angry already. And it's not stripping, it's just fighting, you know? No, again, do you think that could be age? Yes. Because the so computer... this screw is in, and I can still un 
unscrew it. So I'm gonna screw it in a little tighter. They have to be firm, otherwise you can have big problems. But it's still unscrewable. Good. All right. So the other screws that came out were two here. I think the dog in. The dog's under the table. Yeah, it's totally under the table. I think he's sleeping. Yeah. Thanks. You're my prisoner now. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's a screw. <laughs> and these screws are the right color. Ah, that's not the right hole. There we go. All right, so I think. No, I'm wondering though about these ports, like, because they have to be connected to the motherboard somehow. <laughs> Otherwise, they're what? just empty. Yeah, they are. It's just that those wires we never disturbed. So oh. those ports we didn't even touch because all of our repair work was over in this corner. So, so where are these screws? The now? screws are here. I think you're in. In the in the plastic? Why would we put a screw? Mm. Why would we put a screw? There's in? a screw. All right, because so there's one. metal underneath it. Like so. Maybe. I don't know if the screw's in the well all the way. Oh, yeah. That could be a problem. Stop making that noise. I really don't like that noise. I wonder if the screw's the wrong size. Hold on. Let me find out. Oh, it's not in here. Because. Oops. It doesn't think these screws exist. This manual is for a computer that's slightly different than yours. How do you know? Because it didn't tell me that these screws existed. Oh. It only told me I had to take one screw out. Well, there are many different um, Portage models. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's plenty of newer ones. So, I'm trying to find a screw that fits. Okay. Now, once we get done with this, there's something that I'm really curious about. Yeah? I have a feeling S100 is only part of this thing's model number. There's usually more to it. Yeah. Like if you remember the old, uh, well, no, actually not old, the brand new Toshiba satellite. Okay. The one that I used to talk about, the one that I used to talk about shimmered all the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. Elida, the first. Right. That computer actually had a lot of numbers. It was sat It was a satellite S. Eight seven five dash seven three seven zero. I was right. These are the right screws. That screw is just being stupid. Oh. There. Yeah, so I guess this one's less stupid. Can't make any promises though. Where? It's, um. So this one I screwed in because I wasn't sure if it would work. Then there's this one. All right. Yes. Let's see if this one. Okay, there's a waterproof cover, so it's not like you scraped the thing. Oh, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. I think. Ah! Huh. No, I'm not even all the way in. I wonder. Can I see something? Yeah. Yeah, so I wonder if it's just this screw. That's not a pretty noise. It's backwards threaded. What do you mean? I mean, the screw wouldn't go in until I turned it the wrong direction. What the heck? I don't know. See, so that's that, what I did, and it worked. That makes me nervous, because if we ever have to get this out again, we could, we could lose every single screw. Mm, no, we only lost two. And that's because they had issues. Clearly. Um, now, do we okay. get do we get any of that on film? Get any of what? Any of us dealing with those screws on film? Some, none of the um, me filing. Because by that point, we had realized it's gonna take a bit. I feel like there was one other screw that I pulled off. Hold on a sec. So I don't know 
know. I think that I took another screw out besides those three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a screw that's under the cover. And I think that I found one. Um, this screw here. Yeah. I think you have to put that in before you put the cover on. Oh, duh, yeah. Because oh no yeah. For it in the cover. Oh no. Well, that's a, that's the CD-ROM drive. Mm -hmm. But where even is that anyway? Hmm? Where even is that one? Wait, this is the wrong size. This is the wrong size screw. I have to give me a minute to find the right screw. For Stacy to stop being dumb. You're not being dumb. What are you talking about? I can't find the right screw. Nothing more working. Look at that. They're all too small. But I found one, didn't I? You did. It's on the floor. Yeah, that's not good. There's probably a couple of them on the floor. No, it was definitely a dark screw. Mm -hmm. It was a fat dark screw. What color was it? Mm -hmm. Like black. A lot of these are black, kind of. I always thought they were silver. Some of them are silver. Mm -hmm. Some of them are silver and some of them are black, and that's part of how they tell them apart. Mm -hmm. The ones on wait, the ones on the motherboard are black, I think, aren't they? The two that we just put in are silver. The one that over here that's stripped is black. Well, we didn't put the strip one back in, did we? No. Good. I mean it's silver after you scrape it off. Ah. Now, I'm guessing this metal in here, I'm guessing this is all aluminum, I would think. Hmm. I would... Alright, so I'm not going to put a screw back there. What do you think? I would say so. Actually, that would make a difference. Are there any contacts? Like... Contacts, what do you mean? Okay, here. So there's the CPU right now. Right. And then you could push it down this much. Yeah, that's not good. Is that going to make a difference if I have a screw here pushing it down? It could. Because I don't know what the screw is. Maybe you, it's like not. Uh -huh. Do you remember what color it was? Yeah, it was dark. Oh, it was black? Yeah, like all the rest of them. And I was like, oh yeah, it's just a normal screw. But I keep putting the screws in. Maybe it's supposed to come from the other direction. That's what do you mean? probably it. Wait, from the other direction? What do you mean? Well, I mean, like, a lot of these screws I'll put a cover on, right? And then I'll screw through the cover and into the screw hole. But some of them I'll come from the back cover, and some of them I'll come from the front cover. Right. So we'll be fine. Because I don't think there's any missing. They all have... Well, except for the one here. Well, yeah, that's for the CD case, so that's okay. Yeah. Because it's that one. No, because that one already has one. It's that one. I mean, on. as, long as, as, as long as... Well, I mean, as long as the CD-ROM drive yeah, works. That one, that one, that one... Yeah, 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 the CD-ROM drive, CD drive will be fine. Good. Okay, so let's see the front panel. Okay. I right, should no. probably stop humming different songs. Now, mm. I wonder why there's so much waterproof covering on here. Uh, do you have it? I mean, it might also help with static. Maybe. Mm. Computers being stupid. So the front panel. Oh. 
Wait. I mean, I know it goes here and here, but there's also this piece that needs to fit in something. Ugh. Is that dusty or what? Holy crap. No, it's not dusty. That's oh. the wrong word. Oh. Your computer froze. Oh, figures. <laughs> he does that sometimes. It's on my nerves too, believe me. Oh, shoot. Please don't be angry. What? Nothing. Darn it. What's wrong? Darn it. I, um, was careless about where I put cables, and I think there's one cable that's in, a w in the way. So I think I'm going to have to go back a step. As in, unscrew the screws we just put in. Oops. Because the LAN cable is where the on button is supposed to be. Oops. <laughs> yeah. That wouldn't work. <laughs> it's alright. It should be taking more than a couple minutes. Yeah. Imagine if the whole thing didn't turn on. Oh god. Imagine if it didn't turn on. Like, wait a minute, this isn't working. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> See, it's funny, because on a desktop, it's no big deal. It's like, oops, you put the cable in the wrong place, you know. You just pull the panel back off and you fix it. But on these laptops, it's like, come on. Seriously? Yeah. But it's going to be funny, because then tomorrow I have to take off all these videos and transcode them all, and I'll probably have to... Send you a bunch of them. Yeah, definitely. Because I, <laughs> I definitely think some of the stuff I need to keep in there. Like, oh gosh, like your um, <laughs> when you were trying to say CMOS battery and it came out weird. I think I said CMOT instead of CMOT. I meant CMOS battery, and I just said CMOT. <laughs> or something. And then I think you also said like battle instead of battery or something. Yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Well, do you want to return to this tomorrow? Maybe. I'm not done yet. Although you seem very determined right now. Yeah. I don't really like doing things halfway. Um. But yeah, no. I I I, I really <laughs> I really thought that was funny. Like I I mean I definitely think we should keep that mess up in there because that was just. It was funny. Yeah, and that's not usually okay. stuff that people edit out. They usually. Yeah. No, that's chill. It's not mess ups that I'm trying to edit out. It's boring portion, like more than 30 seconds of watching me unscrew something. Oh. Like, that's just a waste of your viewers' time. Yeah. I mean, but I really don't think we should have this be like a single single video because if, if we did it right. as a single segment, you know, I'll probably do like part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and then that will work. But the nice thing is I documented some of this stuff on Twitter so that all my followers can see. Cool. But I'm still really concerned about that smell though. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, no component. I mean, you've been up close and personal about each component and no component particularly smells bad so maybe it's just... It must have been coming from that dead hard drive. Yeah. Which we'll definitely have a little fun with tomorrow, huh? Yeah. All right. So that's back where that should be. Almost. There we go. Or, if you want to, you can you can have some fun with the platter and then give it back to me all dolled up next time I see you. That works too. Lovely. I probably wouldn't give it back until the end of the summer, though. So if you wouldn't mind waiting that long. You're going... Because I prob I typically make a big deal of plasmating things. Hmm. Sorry, I mean, it's usually an event. Well, as long as you filmed it, I'd be fine. Yeah. And then as long as you filmed it and... Uh... Oh, wait, shoot, you don't have a YouTube channel, do you? Not yet. Let me fix that. You do. For plasmating things, I think that I should. But the, thi uh, but the thing about YouTube, though, is you're going to have to deal 
with, I mean, unless you want to put a totally fake name up on Google+, Plus, you're going to have to deal with putting... Oh, shoot, are we still on film right now? Yeah. I think we are. I'll probably put something close to my red link, but I don't know, like, full don't think I'll be doing it. Well, I mean... I mean, like, I think really quick, when you were doing the original zoom in thing. I really think that was just so quick. I don't really think people are going to even notice. I'll just wait it out. What? I'll just wait it out. It'll take like 15 seconds of video editing and it'll make me feel better inside. Yeah, but, but what? Well, yeah, but how are you going to do that without cutting off half the sentence? I'll just read it out. Just read right. out the my last name. Uh -oh. sure. That's one word. <laughs> yeah, but then people are going to notice there was an edit there. They're going to be like, wait. Okay. They'll be what? like, I'm Stacy, the chemistry major. Voice over. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, that would work, yeah. Well, yeah, but you gotta do something because you, you don't want to have a like a click where you edited it because you. Because that would be obvious. Yeah, really. Although I'm not ashamed that if I'm editing out my identifying information, that way they'll know. Don't even try. Mm. Don't even try to find out. Like everything about me, so that would make you a creep. So, how do you want me to send you all these videos? Because, like I said, I first have to transcode them all. Well, see, that's not a big deal because um, I can. Do you have Google Docs? Does Google Docs do video? I know it does pictures. No. What? I have Bitcoin though. I could send you. Oh wait! Shoot! Screw that! You know what? I just remembered. I have Delmeyer. You can server. Yeah, we can use Dunmire. I can okay. just give you individual links to them. But the nice thing is, um, I can have them transcoding while, like, at breakfast or something. Mm -hmm. We can get up, I can get them off the camera, set them transcoding, and then go to breakfast. And then all I have to do is change the names of them, figure out which is which. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And then I'll. just spent tomorrow doing video editing. What? Well, the other, another option could be to just do the video editing tomorrow. Oh, well, if you want to do that, sure. So we probably wouldn't get to other stuff, but we could load those videos onto YouTube tomorrow. And they would be in a, in, in a, a quality that both of us would be proud of. Well, we're not editing them through YouTube. No. So they have to be uploaded, edited before we upload them. Right. So that's... So we could just edit them tomorrow. Or, well, the thing is, we can still do the video with the, um, with the boot manager, because that one is, really, like, really short. Okay. Right, like, this was going to be really short. Well, I didn't think it was going to take this long, believe me. Right. That's what I'm saying. Is Did I you? No. No, I don't. Like, my point is that I don't believe you when you say things are short anymore. You forever remember this. I will forever remember this. Is the day you helped me fix my Toshiba. All I will remember is a lot of different days. Oh, I never told you about the day of the musical Lexmark printer, did I? You did. What? I don't think you did. I don't think I did either. Okay, well, do you have a ruler? Oh, you're... No, I don't. What do you need a ruler for? Your computer is frozen, and I need info off of it. Can I restart it? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Just call the restart. Oh, something smells weird. That was just me, probably. Because your computer can tell me which screws I should use. I need a ruler. Why? Because I need to measure. Oh no, I guess I can tell the difference between one millimeter screws and two millimeter screws just by looking. Screws are different lengths, yeah? Yes. And they're either black or silver? Right. And that's pretty much how you tell them apart. I wonder why they're black. I wonder why some of them are black and some of them are silver. Some of your electrical conductivity properties are just convenience in identifying. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I just 
through the front panel though, as soon as I can figure out which the screws are the right screws, we'll put them in. But like, this is an example of two minutes that your viewers don't need to see. I don't think I have any flathead screws. I think they were all Phillips. This is why you should not have a manual for the wrong model. Because I went to cheat and it didn't work. Well, the manual that I have is the one that Michael gave me. Can so. you get like four different bowls? Four different bowls? Yeah, I need sure. bowls to sort the screws. Uh, sure. By size. And that way I don't have to try it. If I could free myself of PCS's power brick, absolutely. The problem is. I don't need to call it power brick. 